The maxillary bones are kind of the center and focal point of the face. And if you look at the joint, it's extremely uh, rough. And that's because this is not supposed to move very much. But it does move a little bit up and down. You can see it's linear, it goes forward and back. And it can also shift left and right. And so we're going to test all those motions up, down, forward, back, left, and right. And usually, because the left side of the head is expanded, it's usually expanded out to the left, and it's anterior and superior on the left, which again is to give the brain more room. So with finger cots on, I put my fingers into the mouth, and I'm using my fourth finger, but you can also use the index, and I'm moving the bones forward and back on both sides, and then I move them up and down, superior, inferior, and then I bend them to the left and bend them to the right to check for locking and a lack of joint play. And the correction is to same thing, it's to break up the lock and then you look for proper range of motion. And the motion is like this of the maxilla. The motion is like this. I'm exaggerating it, of course. But when it gets locked, it feels like the left side is forward and superior and then rotated out to the left. That's what it feels like. And first we have to break up that lock and then we get a very smooth, even motion of the maxilla.